Hello and welcome to this video on generating functions for set partitions. We will start this video by revisiting the Stirling numbers and the Bell numbers. We will then find a collection of exponential generating functions for the Stirling numbers. And finally, we will use those functions to construct the exponential generating function for the Bell numbers. Recall that the Stirling number SNK is the number of ways to partition the set of n things into k non-empty blocks. This slide gives a visual representation of the set partitions of the set of five things. Two points are in the same block when they are joined by an edge. Here we see the Stirling triangle. The nth row contains the values of s, n, k. Note that s00 is equal to 1 because the empty partition is a valid set partition of the empty set. We also note that when n is greater than 0, the Stirling number s, n, 0 is defined and equal to 0 because it is impossible to partition a non-empty set into zero blocks. The right-hand column contains the values of the Bell numbers. Bn is the number of ways to partition the set of n things into any number of parts. So the nth Bell number is just the sum of the Stirling numbers of that same row. Our goal today is to find the exponential generating functions for set partitions. For each k, we will find the exponential generating function s sub k of x for the set partitions into exactly k parts. We will then turn to the Bell numbers and find the exponential generating function b of x for set partitions into any number of parts. We will fix an integer k and look at the number of partitions of the set of n things into k non-empty blocks. And you'll recall that in a previous class activity, we found an inclusion-exclusion formula for s n k the number of ways to partition the set of n things into exactly k blocks. And there it is. Perhaps you remember that we derived this formula after counting the number of surjective functions from a set of size n to a set of size k. And if you don't remember how we did that, this is your chance to pause the video and refresh your memory. The proof was very cool and a classic application of inclusion-exclusion when dealing with a collection of bad events. So the value of snk is 1 over k factorial times this sum where our index i goes from 0 to k. It's an alternating sum. We've got a k choose i term, and then we have k minus i to the n. Our first step will be to re-index. We introduce j is equal to k minus i, and now we sum over j instead of the original index i. The k minus i to the n term simplifies to j to the n. Meanwhile, the k choose i term becomes k choose j, that's because k choose i is equal to k choose k minus i, which of course is just k choose j. Finally, we also update the exponent of the negative 1 term. Now that is k minus j. We are now ready to get to work. We define the function s sub k of x to be the exponential generating function whose nth coefficient is the Stirling number s n k. And just as a reminder, when we have an exponential generating function, we have our coefficient times x to the n over n factorial. So let's plug in our inclusion-exclusion formula for snk. We get this very intimidating expression, but never fear, we can do some reorganization and make it look much, much nicer. First, let's pull out this 1 over k factorial. This term doesn't depend upon n, and so we can slide it outside that summation sign. And we can actually slide more things out. The only place that we see an n is here in the x to the n over n factorial and the j to the n. So the rest of this can actually slide outside of this infinite sum. So we have our summation over j first and our summation over n second. Next, let's turn our attention to this infinite sum. We have a j to the n times x to the n over n factorial. And this looks a lot like the power series for the exponential function. In fact, it is e to the j times x, and now things are definitely looking up. This sum over j is still a little bit intimidating, but we are getting there. We have come a long way from our original formulation of the exponential generating function sk of x, but there is still more to do. Our next step is to change the order of these three terms so that it looks more familiar. So now our exponential generating function is 1 over k factorial times the sum as j goes from 0 to k of k choose j times e x raised to the jth power times negative 1 to the k minus jth power. And this expression should now ring a bell for us. It looks like the binomial theorem. 
So it is the sum of a plus b to the k, where a is equal to e to the x and b is equal to negative 1. So we reach our final simplification. The exponential generating function for set partitions into k parts is 1 over k factorial times e to the x minus 1, all raised to the kth power. So we did it, and I think this is a rather handsome function. And do remember, we can expand this out and find its power series and read off the Stirling numbers. Though we must make sure to multiply those coefficients by n factorial as appropriate since this is an exponential generating function. This brings us to the Bell numbers, which count the ways to partition the set of n things into any number of non-empty blocks. Let's find the exponential generating function for these numbers. And I have good news for you. We've actually done all the hard work already. We get the nth Bell number by summing the s, n, k Stirling numbers. Likewise, to obtain the exponential generating function for the Bell numbers, we sum the exponential generating functions for the Stirling numbers. b of x is equal to the sum as k goes from 0 to infinity, of these Stirling number generating functions. Each of these Stirling number generating functions is e to the x minus 1 raised to the kth power divided by k factorial. And so that's our answer. And this is where you come in. This formula can be simplified even further. After performing a u substitution, we get one of our favorite power series. I want you to perform this u substitution and tell me the resulting Bell number exponential generating function. And don't forget to take a step back and soak in the majesty of the function that you get. It is simply marvelous and one of the highlights of this course. Good luck and have fun.